Well, hello there, it's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. Welcome here. If you're new to this channel, we're all about doing fitness, wellness, and nutrition in ways that are sustainable for the rest of your life. So consider subscribing. If you're not new and you've seen me before, if we've done workouts together before, hey, today I've got a doozy for you. Is that what you call it? Actually, you know what? That's my son's name is Desi, and his nickname from his friends was Doozy. So <laughs> you don't care. Um, anyway, no, this is gonna be hard because the last workout I gave you was really quick and fast. And all of you said in the comments below that you like these long form follow along videos. So that's what we're gonna do today. And uh, you're gonna need quite a bit of equipment, okay? So let's just go through it quickly. Variety of dumbbells, okay? For one exercise only, I'm gonna use a band. I'm gonna show you a modification if you don't have a band, okay? And then also for one cardio circuit, we're gonna need a skipping rope. I'll also show you the modification if you don't have a rope. Okay, but you do need some dumbbells, so make sure that you go ahead and purchase some of those. They're not too expensive. Our local store just had them on sale for a dollar a pound. As you know, I use like eights, fives, fifteens, and uh, so you can get yourself suited up, ready to go for under $75, all right? And if you work out at home, that's a good thing to, to make sure that you purchase. Also, if you want them just delivered to your door, go ahead and click the links below. Um, you can order those through Amazon, through me, and all of this stuff actually is linked right below, and you can get started like next week. All right, so make sure you do it. All right, here's your format. We're doing an upper body exercise, a lower body exercise, a cardio exercise, and then an ab exercise. Each exercise is gonna be for one minute. That is not for the faint of heart, ladies, okay? So make sure that um, you take breaks if you need them. I'm only gonna give us 15 seconds in between each one. And then after the four minute circuit, then you can take a little water break and pause the camera if you like. But uh, we're doing it. We're burning calories, we are getting fit, we are building muscles, all of those good things. All right, everybody do this, let's do it. Start with a warm up. Go ahead and click the card right above there. You can follow along with that four minute warm up there. I'm ready to go, so we're gonna get started. But also, you can stay tuned to the end. We will do a stretch together and a cool down, okay? So, your first exercise is an inchworm to push up, all right? So, we're gonna walk out our hands to plank position, push up from your toes or knees, and then walk back up. Ready? Let's do it for a minute. Here we go. Walk her out, push it up, walk it back. Good. Stand, squeeze your glutes at the top. That's it. Yeah, one minute is a long time. That's, uh, that's enough to really progressively overload those muscles and uh, get them feeling sore the next day. That's for sure. Good, try to keep your legs straight here. Get the hamstrings a little work as well. You're halfway through. prisoner squat for our lower body. It's knee, knee, stand, stand. If you have bad knees and want to just do a weighted squat, feel free. Here we go. Down, down, up. Tap that foot. Reverse directions. Good. In the subsequent rounds, I might determine if I want to hold some weights or not on this exercise. Round one, while I'm still getting in the mode, zero weight is fine for me. Skipping is gonna be our cardio coming up. So, now, we don't have a rope. High knees is gonna be your option there. All right. Straight up and down here. Good, last 15 seconds. 
kind of wish I had my mat right now. This is a little painful on my um, knees, but <laughs> I'm gonna keep going because, you know, TVE calls. All right, shake that out. Grab your rope. The show must go on and such. All right, one minute of skipping. Go ahead and do high knees if you don't have your rope. Ready? Let's do it. I'm gonna bring high knees up for the skip anyway. Okay. seconds aside. Here we go. All the way down, up. Same side to start. We'll burn out that hip flexor on the one side a little bit. Then switch it up. Ten more seconds on this side. Doing good. All right, switch legs, here we go. Don't stop your flow. Moving back to that inchworm push-up. Okay. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, and time. Good job. All right. If you want to pause the video and take a little breather, feel free to do that. I'm gonna keep it going here. Maybe a little some water. Okay, ready? Round two, here we go. Walk it out. Yeah, thanks to all who responded on that last 20 minute hit video I did. So if you didn't see it, basically it was just giving you an idea of how to do 20 minute hit. We didn't do the whole workout, right? Normally we go follow along like this. And I was talking to someone at a party on the weekend and they are YouTube, um, uh, someone who knows a lot about YouTube, basically. Professional? Is it? Do you say that? I don't know. Anyway, he said, you need to make your time, your workouts, or your videos shorter, because then more people will, okay, prisoner squats, you'll get more watch time, and then the videos will get out in the YouTube algorithm a little bit more. Ready? Prisoner squat. To which one girl said, algorithm, schmalgorithm. I don't think Schmelgorithm is a word, but at any rate, it's important when you want to try to move your business online, which is what I want to do, right? YouTube went through a big ad apocalypse about uh, four or five months ago in February. And if you have noticed, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but up until about five days ago, I didn't have any ads running on my videos, right? So if you put an ad on, that's how you can maybe possibly make a little bit of money doing these workouts. Um, because if you 
the viewer watched the, the ad, then um, I would get paid like an eighth of a cent or something like that. But anyway, I just got remonetized. All right, time, back to skipping. Um, about four or five days ago. So it's exciting for me, not that you make very much money, but you know, I put a lot of effort into the video, so it'd be nice to get something. Here we go. But anyway, uh, so he just said my watch time minutes, that's what matters. And if you can get more watch time minutes by making the video shorter, then you'll make more money. Anyway, long story short is that that's not what you want. All of you answered that you like the long follow along. And to be honest, I like it better too because then I get a good workout. And when I just do the short ones, I can't talk to you as much like I'm doing right now. I can't tell you stories and show my dog and all those fun things, right? So. All right, good. Anyway, maybe you don't even care about that. Maybe you're just like, can you just shush and do the leading, please, lady? It's important because, ready? Three, two, here we go. Princess sit up. I've been a trainer for over 10 years, and, you know, really spending a lot of time in my community doing that work, and then, I've always wanted to go online to do it and try to make a living that way, incorporating the psychology of health and wellness as well, which if you've been with me for a while, you know that that's important to me, switch sides. So if I can somehow find a way to make this my full-time gig, I would love that so much. So now you know. That's the truth. <laughs> 15 seconds. But it is growing. Like I, uh, at Christmas time, I think I had about 1,600 subscribers. And, all right, time. One more round. And we're almost at 5,000. So, that's growing, right? Doing it. Really doing it, Clark. I'm excited. Oh, first worm. Ready? Here we go. Get down nice and low on that push up. All right, if you need to go to your knees right there, get down to the ground. Well, at least 90 degrees on the arm. That's good. See how wide my feet are too, I have a nice center of balance, so I don't tip over. Just a few more, keep going. I'm gonna hold some weights on this next prisoner squat now, okay? Join me on the weight holding if you like. Uh, I'm just gonna grab some fives on my shoulders here. Here we go. All right. So adding 10 pounds to the equation. You can hold one weight in front, or do as I'm doing here. You know, this doesn't seem like much, but adding 10 pounds is uh, definitely a little bit more work. Feeling it already. Halfway through. Good, 20 seconds left. 
Stay really tall in your back. Okay, don't lean forward when you stand up. Push right through that heel. Straight up, right? Straight up. Four, three, two, and time. All right, skipping or high knees. Let's pick up your pace a bit on this skip, okay? Because your break's coming up, so let's get our heart rate right up there. Here we go. so gross but it doesn't hurt so let's oh. so work on that one leg all right switch your sides don't stop your momentum good 15 seconds Come on, go, go, go. Almost there. Three, two, and time. Okay, quick water break. Catch your breath and we'll move on to the second circuit. Upper body first. That circuit is gonna start with an underhand grip. One arm row, okay? So palm, instead of facing neutral, turn it to face away from you in the front, and we're rowing up to our back. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna call halfway. I've got a 15 pound here. Good. I might add a little weight to this by just holding two of my weights together next round. This feels a little light to me. 15 more seconds here, but my rep range is up there, so. I think I'll just maybe determine that once I get there. It's always a good way to do it. See how you feel round one, and if you could have done more, switch sides, then you have it. Here we go. Roll between your chest and your hip, okay? Not up to your chest only. You're pulling it back, retracting that shoulder blade, right? Suitcase squats are coming up. You're gonna grab both weights. Feet are shoulder width apart, nice squat in there. Almost here. Three, two, and one. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna hold 15 in each hand. Feet are shoulder width apart. Just like, hey, I'm traveling through the summer. I gotta bend down and pick up my suitcases. That's how you hold this. Here we go. So, push through the heel. Stand straight up and down. Right, that's it. Always targets a little bit different part of your legs depending on where you hold that weight, right? So, I can definitely feel this sort of the outside of my leg into my glute, but just a little bit on the side by my IT band as well. Halfway. Go. 
got some speed lunges coming up for our cardio. Be a lot of leg there as well. Neutral back, push through the heel. Three, two, last one right there. Good. All right, set that down. Speed lunges. We're gonna step side to side, tap the ground. It's like ice skaters. I don't know why I call them lunges, but I did, and here we go. Let's go. Touch the ground, touch. Boom. Nice and quick. You will feel this in your glutes for sure. Nice flat back though. Don't compromise that. If your back is hurting, touching the ground, spring it up a little bit. That makes my back a bit sore, so I'm gonna sit a little taller. You do what works for you. Over halfway, come on. Whew, it's a long time, isn't it? Five, four, three, two, time. Oh, horrible. All right, side to side V sit. You can use a weight as a measure of where to go. You're in and out side to side. Here we go. Lean it back and sit it up. Seconds, you're getting a lot of reps in, right? Again, I'm holding an additional 30 pounds. Makes a difference. Definitely feel it in my glutes. Someone's coming up here with a package. 
Is it my house? How exciting. Oh, darn it. Let's go 15 seconds. Come on. Don't. 10 seconds. There's the door. I'm gonna get it in four, three, two. All right. Darn, it's not for me, it's for Quentin. Do you open your spouse's packages? What could it be? I'm so curious. Did he order clothes without me knowing? By the way, the last time he ordered something off the internet that was clothing, it, it was not good. It was like, not good. I don't like these ones, mostly. Mostly they don't, but here we are. Seven seconds away. All right, we got this. Ready and go. I'm just gonna stick with ice skater. You do what, what you like, make it nice and quick. If you wanna touch the ground, feel free. This is good little cardio though. That explosive movement off your foot, that just generates blood pumping. seconds. Woo -hoo. This is work. Five, four, three, two, time. Uh, okay. Go to that knee sit. Side to side. Here we go. In and out. Slow and controlled on this. is a long time. Did I ever tell you I used to teach like fitness classes, right? So I'd teach like a core class, 30 minute core. And I've been doing the exercises with them. And then three, two, time. Whenever I couldn't manage it, I would pretend that I was just checking form. Okay, but well, let's see how you're doing. Let's check your form out. I was a bit of a cheater. Back to the start again with that one arm row. Ready. And leg back. There you go. There we go. And again, I forgot the extra week. What is wrong with me? Darn it. Well, hopefully you have a heavy enough weight that this is challenging for you guys. Ugh, I need to have it closer, that's the problem. Couple more on this side. All right, go ahead and switch, quick. Get into position and up you go. Really retract that shoulder blade, squeeze at the top. Even a slight pause up there if you can. If the weight's not too heavy. Right, you don't wanna rush through this. Pull. In four, three, two, oh, good. For that rep range, actually 15 is not bad. Two case squats coming up here. Whew. Heat shoulder width apart. Nice and tall, tummy tight. Ready, squat it out. Good. Get as low as you can, but with a flat back. That's the key here. And also, be looking down at your knees. Make sure they're equal distance apart the whole time. 
Oh, I just hit my knee with the dumbbell. Does not feel good. That's it, you're halfway through. Really push hard with this. Get low, stand tall. Last 15 seconds. We've got those speed lunges or ice skaters coming up. Last one right there, good. Okay. Whew. Speed lunge side to side. Whew. Hot. In four, three, two, here we go. Good. Get low, get quick here. This is the opportunity to jack that heart rate up. Oh, this is hard on the legs after that squat, hey? Push. Last 15 seconds. Go, go. Come on. Five, four, three, two, time. Oh. That's gross. Ugh. Me sit side to side. Then your little break. Whew. Here we go. Come on, all the way back. You want it to be a V sit. A true V sit. Stomach is sloshing. Halfway. Oh gosh. Okay. Last 15 seconds, you guys. Come on. So hard. Don't stop. Oh, done. Oh, that is horrible. Okay, stay with me. We got another circuit coming up. Okay, upper body. You're on your back. You're doing a chest fly with a tricep crossover. A two and one move here. All right, so you're gonna fly, fly, turn, cross. Okay, here we go. So whatever you can lift with your triceps, you're gonna be able to lift a little bit more on the fly than you can on the tricep. So I've got my eights here. Um, I could probably do it with tens or twelves, but again, rep range is gonna be high and you want your form to stay perfect, like nice and tight. Now, do you see where the Triceps are crossing over at 90 degrees, all right? Don't let your shoulder come across your upper body. And open that chest fly nice and wide. Open and keep the arms rounded there, okay? Hopefully you got this one, it's a bit tricky. This feels good. Good, you're 10 seconds left here. Then we're gonna stand up and go into some alternating front lunges. Weighted as well. Open and turn, press up. Good. Okay, not horrible. Bordering on fun, actually, even. Bordering on fun. Okay. Whew. Make sure if you're not dizzy or if you're dizzy, take a second. Alternating front lunges. Stay tall. Ready. Let's do it. Alternating front. 
I've got weights in my hand. If you want to really make this difficult, grab your 15s or 20s. Let's slow your pace down. If you're going a little lighter or no weight, keep your pace up a bit. Push through your heel, straight back up. That's it. Oh, it's getting hard just now for me. I'm at 30 seconds left. Cardio coming up. It's gonna be two little partial squat jumps, two high knees. Okay, I'll show you. Oh, 10 seconds. I'm glad I didn't get heavier weights. This is hard on my quads. All right, set those weight down. Whew, so cardio looks like this. Jump, jump, knee, knee, okay? Repeating that. Ready? Let's go. Jump, jump, get down, knee, knee. Jump, jump, knee. Whew. You know what I should have done is legs, then upper, then cardio. That was silly. Over half. Ugh. 20 seconds, come on, up, up. Side plank coming up. With the weight if you can. Ugh. That was, that was so horrible. I did not like that, Sam I am. Ugh, puke. Okay, lightweight. Thread the needle. Side plank. Weight if you want. Here we go. In, up, 30 seconds aside. If you need to eliminate the weight, you're here. If you need to modify the plank, you're here. Okay? Slow and controlled. One more on this side. Good, quickly switch. Here we go. Seconds. Last one there. Oh, brutal. Okay, crawling to the weights. Round two. Chest fly, tricep crossover. That was hard. Ready. Here we go. And open, turn, cross, and. Really control that tricep. Flex at the top, okay? So when you press up, flex those triceps. Good. Make sure you're opening up. Not bending your elbows on that fly, but rounding your arms. Like you're hugging a big oak tree. Okay, open. That's it, 15 seconds. This is the time to bring your heart rate down. Because nothing else does. In four, three, two, and time. All right. Alternating front lunges. Do I wanna hold the weights this next one? No. I'm gonna lighten my weight. I can't talk if I'm too exasperated. Here we go. Alternating front. 
But you have no excuse, so go ahead and go heavy. <laughs> You're not talking, are you? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you answer my questions when I ask you them, do you? Yes, no, crazy. Halfway. This is a little, way easier with 10 pounds versus 16 for me. Just so I can get to that cardio, I had to lighten here. Plus we have a full one more circuit after this. So, I gotta look alive, you know? Push hard through your heel, not your tiptoe. Push. All right, time. Okay, this horrible next one, which is the cardio. 10 seconds. It's a jumping. It's hard. Go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep your legs wide so you can get a good um, knee high there. Knee high or high knee? High knee. Boom. Up. Halfway. Stay low. I hope you're finding this horrible as well as me. This is so hard. Three, two, time. I don't like it. Thread the needle, with or without a weight. I'm gonna modify till I catch my breath. Ready? Here we go. And up. Really crunch those obliques at the bottom there as you drive that weight or hand through. Press. All right, switch sides quickly. Always ways to modify if it's getting too difficult. Try to keep with the flow though. Just modify as you go along. Last one here. Good, all right. Last round, get into that chest fly. Tricep crossover. In five, four, three, two, here we go. Let's add some abs here if you'd like, okay? So on my fly, I'm extending my legs. Cross and fly. Legs go out, cross and fly. Whew. Might wanna lift your head up on that extension. Okay, that's easier for me. Boom, and. See if there's ways to make it easier, there's ways to make it more difficult. I like this one though. It's work, but it's fun. 10 seconds. Did I just say those two things in the same sentence? Work and fun? Hmm, interesting. Last one. Oh, okay. Alternating oh, lunges, front lunges. Make sure you're not dizzy, guys. Get upside down, can do that. In three, two, here we go. 
So switch to my fives on this. It's adding a little weight, but I'm not gonna tax my body out knowing I still have 15 minutes of work left. Always important to listen to your body. You know, they have that rate of perceived exertion scale. So typically I'll tell clients that when they're, you know, 75% through their workout, they should be like 75% taxed, right? I guess it depends on what kind of workout you're doing, but I'm feeling that right now. And we're almost at 75%. So I have a little bit left in the tank, not a lot. Five seconds. Okay. One more of these horrible ones. That I may or may not ever do again. Because I don't love it, I probably should do it. Here we go. Up, up, one, two. The first three are kind of fun. This part, woo, it's high fun. And then it gets so, Suddenly and quickly, not fun. Up. It's all the jumping, hey? Up. For one minute. Halfway, up. guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, thread the needle. Uh, I'm gonna do it without a weight this time. In four, three, two, here we go. I'm glad this is only 30 seconds aside. Oh, really feel that on that bottom oblique, don't you? Switch sides. Holy. Here we go. Pop it up and in. The deeper you turn in, oh, the more you feel it. Even when you're down there, reach in and tap it. It's tight like a drum. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, oh. Okay, I have one last circuit. It's only 12 minutes of work, in essence. So, don't leave me now. Join me right back here after a drink of water. All right, you're gonna need that little mini band for this round, but grab your weights to start off for a full complex. I'm grabbing my eights. It's all pulling action, starting with a row, curl, and press. Here we go, I'm at row, curl, and a row again. Sorry, no press. That would not be a pull action. Okay, and up, good. Hinge, row, bicep, upright. Okay, so palms face, palms face, turn towards you, all right? Row, stand and curl, stand and row. It's a little like patting your head and tapping your stomach at the same time, this one, or however that saying goes, but you'll get it. Hey, you've got three minutes to practice, so lucky you. 20 seconds left, row, squeeze your shoulder blades, and elbows high on that upright row. Higher than your wrists. Good, nine seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, seated abduction. So if you don't have a band, you wanna just put tension here 
and try to pull your legs back in, okay? Use your hands as your tension. Otherwise, band is above the knees, on your tiptoes, and extend in and out here. Okay, you're gonna do slight forward leaning and increase this pace to a little pulse if your band is lighter. If you have a really big heavy band or that no slip band that uh, I used in a previous video, which is in my bag in the car right now, I can use that as well. This, oh my gosh, is gonna be plenty because we're only at halfway and it is killing those cheeks. Yeah, that's work when you have a higher rep range, remember. Normally, if you do 12 or only 30 seconds, this overloads it so much. Stay on your tiptoes. 15 seconds left. That's it. So again, no band, you put tension on the outside, pushing out, or push in on the inside, pushing in. That made no sense, but I hope you get what I mean. Cardio, donkey kick, sit through. So you're here, donkey kick, sit through, switch. Okay? I know, I know. Here we go. Up, sit, and up, switch sides. Extend that leg. Doing a little ab, a little cardio, a little leg, shoulder, holy. I don't like this. Oh, this is hard. 15 seconds, break as you need. really hard. Okay. Clearly I didn't do great on that. That's okay. You can be good at everything. I'm gonna really kill this weighted sit-up. Now grab a light weight or no weight. Full sit-up. Weight over the head. So you're up. Reach. Weight is nice and tall on top of you. Above you. Not on top. There we go. it. Okay, besides that donkey sit through, this circuit's tolerable. That one's hard though. Fifteen seconds. Eliminate the weight if you need. Move to a crunch if you have to. Keep those arms straight. All right, time. Ugh. Here we go to that full complex. Okay, bicep. Upright row, sorry, row, bicep, upright row. Ready, in three, two, hinge forward. Here we go. Stand and curl, elbows high. Palms facing, palms facing, palms toward. Make sure you're nice flat back on that hinge. Okay. Hinging at the waist. My knees are soft. But my back is totally flat. Halfway through. bad with this eight pounds. Should have picked heavier, but I'm tired. That's okay, still doing work. Three, two, one. Okay, all right, grabbing that band, slipping it above the knees again. Whew. 
Good. Okay, slight forward lean, feet together. Let's do it. One minute. One minute of build, glute building, booty building. Hey, incidentally, if you don't follow me over on Instagram, check it out because I'm doing a new little series over there. They have a new thing called IGTV, Instagram television. And I'm posting like little 10 new ab exercises you can add to your workouts. 10 glute exercises you can add to your workouts. So if you do some workouts on your own and you need ideas for exercises, check out my IGTV. And those don't disappear like stories, right? They just stay there. So yeah, go follow me on Move Daily Fitness and uh, you can get some more ideas for your next workout. All right, 10 seconds here. Brutal. But you're almost there. Three, two, oh, one. Good job. All right, moving on to cardio. Let's get down into these horrid donkey kicks. I mean awesome donkey kicks. <laughs> Ready, and here we go. going you have 20 seconds left give me a good pace here no slowing down if you can pull pull and elbows high 10 seconds come on all right set those down seated adductors grab your band or use your hand
Ready? Here we go. Open. Okay, oh, Newman. See, that new band wouldn't do that. A little roll. You can keep your hands right on there, though, on this exercise. Actually, adding a little bit more tension, too, if you want. Push against your legs. Oh, yeah, that is a burner, isn't it? Over halfway, though. Come on, keep it going. Slight forward leaning. Press. That is burning. Holy, 10 seconds. Three, two, oh. All right, last horrible donkey kick. Sit through. We can do it, right? Course, course. Ready? Let's go. today, but this is really hard. Probably both. Oh, 15 seconds. through that quad. Those front lunges are going to make my quad sore. I know it. And those uh, suitcase squats too because I felt that right on the side here. So this is a good stretch. Kind of just put your foot on the ground there. Try to push your hip forward away from you. Lengthening through that quad. Oh, and the further you lean back, the more stretch you'll feel there. So let's do that. Good. Oh, goodness, switch sides. <laughs> that was good. Someone asked, hey, can we do another power hour? I'm like, yeah, we haven't done that in a while. That is hard though, isn't it? I know a lot of you said you like that um, workout for people who get bored easily. It's a no repeat. So you do each exercise only once. It does actually go by super fast. Uh, and there's pros and cons to both, right? So the pro with that is that you don't get bored. Um, you're adapting quickly to multiple different muscles. So your muscles are like constantly switching and, and that has to activate your brains. So that's good too. Um, 
But the con of that is that you don't progressively overload one specific muscle as we did today. Okay, let's go into a glute stretch, right? So think about how much tension and time just in those donkey kicks there that we had to put on our shoulders, right? Minute after minute after minute. So that's how, that's how they go, oh my gosh, okay, we need to recruit more muscle fibers, we need to develop, we need to get stronger, we need to hold this girl up. So, so that's a benefit of doing the three rounds. And even, you know, when I, um, I competed back in 2010, years, years ago, just once, because the eating was horrible, but um, we would do this German volume training, switch legs, and it was a 10 times 10. So we would take two different exercises, and superset them. So I would maybe do deadlifts and squats, and you do 10 reps, 10 rounds. 10 reps of each, 10 rounds of each. So in essence, you ended up doing 100 deadlifts and 100 squats. Well, if that didn't progressively overload the muscle, I don't know what did. Now, it was really good. Let's do butterfly stretch here. Very good for, if, like if you want to develop an area, you have to hit it more frequently. You have to put more time under tension on that specific muscle. So if it's glutes you want to grow, you've got to do it multiple times a week and you've got to hit it hard and heavy and, and do lots of, uh, of the different muscles within the glutes, right? Your pumper muscles, your, your heavy lifting muscles. There, there's lots of different um, exercises required to build that. And same with shoulders, same with abs, same with, with anything that you want to grow, biceps, whatever. So um, yeah, so there's benefits to each. I mean, the, doing one exercise and then moving on is, is very fun because it's, it's fast and it's different and it keeps things exciting. So if you're someone who does get bored and you just want to move, you just want to get out there, get some blood pumping, get your heart pumping, get the blood flowing, then that's a great routine for you. But if you have specific goals of growing parts of your muscles, then you need to isolate a little bit more and do more specific training as we did today. Okay, hands behind you. And even today we did a full body, right? So you can even chunk that down even more. Now, if you ever uh, got my Organize Your YouTube Workouts calendar, I'll put the link right above right here, but, and it's below as well. But um, that was a good thing because I took all my YouTube workouts and put them in a month calendar. So if, say for example, you see me every Wednesday and Saturday, Maybe you're like, hey, what do I do on Thursday? What do I do on Monday for a good workout? Well, this calendar has all the YouTube workouts all organized so you know exactly what's coming up and what to do. And there were some exclusive videos, Switch, so bring your arm across. There was two exclusive ones that I hadn't posted on here yet. One is a glute and shoulder specific. One's a back and bicep specific. So again, in those videos, we chunk it down right into really developing and growing specific parts of your body so that you can see a, a definite difference. Because if you just keep doing full body all the time or just cardio all the time, you may not be able to see the growth in specific areas that you want to see. So some of those workouts, specific workouts like that, do it. Because then we dedicate eight exercises or 10 exercises to shoulders, right? Not just like two or three. So that's how that makes a difference. All right. Oh, that's good. Thanks for joining me, everyone. A little stretch here. All right, that was great. Thanks, everyone, for joining. If you have any ideas of what kind of workout videos you would like to see next, let me know in the comments below because I do read them all, as you know, and I love your input. I'm really loving this community. You guys are all so fantastic. I love hearing from you. It brightens my day. Morning, I get up there and I see comments. So keep the comments coming and uh, I'll keep up the workouts coming. All right, as always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hard.